these are spicy. Yeah, I hope you get all the spicy ones. She just is a white. She's, I think it's a 25 year <laughs> age gap or something. Goals. Maybe more. The first time? No. Did you like this one? Oh. They make these guys where you can wait. Like cleaner jumpsuits. Who is that? They're the caddies. Oh. Stop, wait. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Damn, that cheese is so creamy. So good. When my mom makes that bowl, she puts like rice in it. Yeah. I don't know if that's like the traditional way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's British, does she have an accent? No. Really? No. Oh, shit. Actually? <laughs> I <laughs> didn't pick up her accent. Might as well look sad. Oh, bro? I know you guys are all curious as to why it didn't work out. I just didn't feel that spark and I think that it was kind of a little forceful in a way because initially I just like wasn't into it and I feel like the more we hung out the more I did enjoy his company but I just didn't feel like that spark was there. So anyway, I came on a date to Kima Flatiron and then to the Evelyn for some drinks and my date talked about himself the whole time. This was with someone else and then I was kind of feeling a little FOMO and maybe I should have made it work but ultimately I just accepted it for what it was and you just move on. Hi guys, good morning. I usually do not vlog in the mornings because I am just always on the go but today is Friday and I don't have work today so it's my last few days in um, my last few days in New York so I'm finally seeing you money she finally has time she's been really busy so I'm just I actually ended up extending my trip because initially I wasn't going to and I was like oh whatever like I'll just go home on Friday but then she said that she she's like oh are you leaving on Friday which meant that she had Friday available I was like oh my god no I'm not gonna go so then I ended up I'm gonna switch hotels because obviously my work pays for this one and 
I'm gonna move to the one hotel because I wanted to stay there for a bit, but it's just, it's literally just gonna be like a few days, like not, um, just until Sunday, and then Sunday I take the train to Philly. I'm gonna be in Philly for one day to visit a friend, and then I'm going to head back to LA from there. And we're gonna say little baby tuna, I miss her so much. Like, I am actually super, super sad. And I'm gonna be late for checkout actually, cause I do not wanna show up to the hotel looking busted. I noticed that like, when you're checking in, you should always like, look presentable. And I feel like they always give me like, actually no, that's not true, cause the other hotel didn't do <laughs> They give me a shitty ass room, this is my... But yeah, I always try to find like the best, like, not super cheap, but not really expensive hotels. Um, also to help you guys, because I think it's helpful. Like if I'm vlogging and like you guys wanted to come to New York, like I actually really like this hotel. Imani didn't like it. And I actually feel like it smelled like, kind of like smoky-ish. So if you get a room like that, maybe just tell them like you don't want that um, or that you want a room that's like, that doesn't smell like smoke. And I'm sure they'll fix it, but I just, I had to like run in and out and like drop off my stuff. So I did not have time for that. Um, did I check in early here? I think I did actually. Or no, I don't, I don't remember, honestly. No, I didn't, I didn't. I had so much to do. So, yeah. And then my makeup does not take me a long time anymore. It used to, but I feel like I could do this with my eyes closed, especially with lash extensions. So yeah, I've been spending some time in the Upper East Side and also wherever my hotels are, but I'm gonna be in Central Park, so I'm really excited. Um, because it's really close to Milo's. Milo's is like, just my spot, man. I love that place so much. And I actually tried Kima yesterday. You guys probably heard of my voiceover that like I didn't really like it. It wasn't like all that to me. So, also I didn't like that they didn't just have like a simple like piece of steak. It was like a ribeye or something like that, like bone and ribeye, and then they cut it already. Like they had already cut my steak, so. I didn't even like, I didn't like that they did that. I mean, it was cooked perfectly, but I feel like when you cut it, I feel like it, it like cooks more. Like, I don't know, like you're letting the heat like get into like the center, like, I don't know. It's just different like um, steak sides. <laughs> I didn't like that, they did that. So, um, yeah. And then I, my routine is super simple, you guys. I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, not like I ever do, but just like set all there. I usually just use this for like bottom here. I really love how my makeup has been coming out. I think it's super pretty. Probably show you guys um at the next hotel that I go to, um like a makeup routine or something because I think that would be helpful. I should because I need to go. Oh my god. Okay. Let me just do this really quickly. So I brought the Artist Couture highlight and I need to put that freaking vlog up here I'm like so behind everything. I brought the Artist Couture highlight that should did not fit in this Chanel thing. This Chanel like um, container that I put it in because it's like not the right one. I don't like when they look like super defined because I mean I feel like it makes me look a little mad. I hate when I don't have a good brow day. I also need to like export footage from here but I just... And do I have a chance to breathe? I don't. Ugh. than Paris Baguette. Oh. Um, uh, Paris? Yeah, but like mm -hmm. the, the food, oh. like this stuff is better here. Oh. Okay. Oh. <gasps> wow. Dude, look at all this stuff. What, the cake? Yeah, there's so much stuff here. Oh yeah, I think the cakes are better at a Paris Baguette. Oh yeah, I do like the, the strawberry one. Did you actually think you were going to vlog that? 
I was going to. That's sometimes it's just easier using my phone. Yeah. Instead of just like busting out my camera. Mm -hmm. Cute. This is a thumbnail. Hi guys, we just got to K Town and I'm here with Yvonne. I know that was a bad angle with me, but I'm <laughs> I was literally gonna cry if I didn't see her. So she made it happen. Just for me. You're so funny. <laughs> so we got some coffees. Um we're waiting. We're waiting. That's all. <laughs> but um I don't uh, I wasn't like I've actually never been to this Korean barbecue spot. I don't think, I think the only one that I've been to was in Toya. I think it was called Samwon, and I don't know if they still hold a Michelin star, but they were Michelin rated when we went there like last year. But we just went ahead and had a seat. I think we had the special, I don't know if it was a lunch special or if it's like normally that price, but it was like a hundred bucks for like three pieces of meat. Or three different types of meat, which I thought was a pretty good price. I think that's pretty standard in most Korean barbecue spaces. And then first we had the brisket. I actually really like the brisket here and I normally don't like brisket. And then we had the ribeye, I believe that is. My favorite is always the marinated one, but I don't think we actually had a marinated meat here. Or actually, I really don't remember like what we even ate, but I always love catching up with Imani. She's like one of my favorite people ever and... One of my first, I, I feel like I say that every time I feature her in a video. She was one of my first YouTube friends ever. Um, but she's super chill, really down to earth. And if you guys didn't know, she's actually like three years younger than me. So she is a baby. But I always love hanging out with her. I was really happy to have ended up seeing her because if I just ended up leaving straight from Connecticut, like back home, I wouldn't have seen her. So we did a little bit of shopping and we just walked around and it was really fun. So here we're just catching up. I talk a lot with my hands and I just realized that. And then we walked to Fifth Ave and then we also went to Aritzia, I believe. And then I wanted to go into and other stories. I got this top because she said it looked nice on me, but I'm kind of having second guesses. I don't know. Do you guys like it or do you not? I feel like it kind of looks weird, but anyway, and then I went ahead and tried on some stuff at Aritzia. These are the same pants that I have, but I have them in tan. So I do really like them. I feel like I gained weight, so I do have to start losing that. I need to like get it back into habits. And then this dress, I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Like it looks like that's my nipple, but it's not. It's just the seam, which is really weird. And then I really like this body top, this bodysuit top. And it's so annoying like when they're like, oh my God, yes, girl, that looks amazing on you. Like, please don't talk to me. I'm just trying this on because you guys don't have a mirror in your dressing rooms, so, like stop. But anyway, I did really like the top. I thought it was really nice and fitting. Okay guys, so this is my hotel room. It's super shitty <laughs> for being a one hotel because of the view, there is none. Um, I think they had some, I don't know if it was a city view or if it was like a street view. I think the street view is much better. Um, even, well, actually, even when I was at the Ritz, I didn't, have, <laughs> I didn't have a street view. But yeah, so this is the room, TV, everything looks like super nice and clean. The bed and then this is like a desk area. Not sure if I'm gonna utilize that. I believe this is like this is our trash. Um, snack bar, coffee. Everything looks really clean here. And then this is gonna be the full mirror. Oh my god, it's so cute. I actually should have done my makeup in the other hotel. Um, because the lighting was also really good, but that's totally fine. And then this is the closet here. I love that there's a steamer. Honestly, the Arlo's, they have steamers and I'm so... <gasps> slippers! Oh my god. Thank goodness. I love slippers. Okay. And then ironing board. It's gonna be... Oh, there's no ironing board, right? Because there's a steamer. I like a steamer better, actually. Because I don't like burning my clothes. Um, and then this is the bathroom. Let me turn the light on for you here. Wow. Okay, so... I don't know what the... What the steam. Um, so, like, all the towels there. Toilet paper. This is their sink, which is super cute. The shower, I love, and then the door if you wanna close it. So yeah, this is gonna be my home for the weekend. So pretty excited. I like this hotel a lot and it's like super nice and clean. Um, I love that I get a full size mirror. I actually didn't, the, well, the Hendrix Hotel, they actually had like the two, like the bathroom door was like doubled as a mirror, but it's not the same, you know, it's not the same. The color, the lighting, everything. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's that. Um, from Maritzia, I ended up getting the black shorts. Imani gave me some face masks, which I love. I'm so grateful for her. Um, and she said that these are like the best ones, so or like her favorites. So I'll use one of those tonight. And then from Maritzia, I got the bodysuit, the white one, and then also the shorts. And then um, from what is it from and other stories i got like this scrunch top um so this one is just like beige and then this one was the one that i tried on that you guys saw imani really liked this one because she said that it's like my style which i do wear a lot of things like this so i was like okay fine i'll try it out with what i have um i wish i got like some tan pants because i don't have any but it's it's okay it's okay so that's that this is a little water thing although they didn't offer water in here maybe the yeah, so that's cool. Um, oh, the sun is actually coming in, which is nice. Is this even real? Oh my gosh. No, it's a fake. So I get a little bit of sunlight. Dude, I would die if this was my view, like, every single day. Like, I love my view at home. I can't. Oh, this is kind of like a beige sheet. So, yeah. But that's a <laughs> tiny room. I mean, I don't know. I really miss my apartment. I feel like it's been so long since Hi guys, so I just got back from dinner. I went, <laughs> let me just tell you guys. Um, I only had one drink, so I'm not drunk. I went to Cipriani in Upper East Side. And um, honestly, it was really weird. Like, it felt like, oh, I don't have ceiling lights. Okay, let me just like talk to you guys really quick because this is like really, really strange to me, okay. I'm gonna take my shoes off. So, like, I guess here, I don't know, maybe just like the location that I was at, I didn't, like, there was, there were like no younger people, like my, like my age, I feel like. And if there were, everybody looked old there. So, I mean, I don't know. And so then, I don't know, it's just weird, like, so like new york and la so this is like my last few days like staying here so i honestly i don't know how many vlogs i'm gonna have i know you guys really liked when i was vlogging with imani like that set of vlogs but honestly like when i came this time like i had to work a bit obviously this weekend i don't have to and then today we actually like went to korean barbecue and stuff but like i didn't really like vlog much of it so i was actually really sad because like i got an outfit for a date and then he canceled um this is someone that i was like seeing for a while so i was like okay you know what like we had already planned it and so i was kind of like really upset about it and i don't know just like kind of made me feel like like people don't respect you if they cancel on you like last last minute like as far as like dates goes like i like if it's friends like i completely understand like i think it happens like you know if they're really busy or if they, like, they have things to do as long as they just let you know beforehand but I feel like if it's someone who's trying to court you or someone who's trying to like get to know you and like whatever like I feel like they better have like a really good excuse to cancel on you because if it's just like oh they decided to go out to dinner with someone else that's like a slap in the face like that's really rude so anyway oh, let me stick my phone in the charger I just thought it was really rude and I was like really sad about it because I was like starting to and initially like when I came to New York I didn't have feelings for this person like at all like I didn't like when I left Hawaii, I didn't think like, oh yeah, like we're compatible. I told you guys might get ready with me that I didn't think we were. And now it's starting to look a lot like it because I think that I should just trust my gut and not try to make things work if the other person is showing their interest in me. So I think that's like one thing that I have to stop doing. 
and like not be nice and just like cut it off when I feel like it's just not working out for me and I kind of like when I date I kind of just like to see how things kind of progress and grow as time moves on but I don't know, I just really sucks. Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So, okay, so, and then I went to Cipriani and it wasn't that it was like, I mean, obviously it's a different crowd. It's a different like atmosphere. And I'm so used to LA, like just seeing a lot more younger people. And I don't know, it was just, I, I guess like obviously the location itself, it's going to be more like upscale and like more people who have money. But like, I think spending a hundred dollars on dinner is like, not really that big of a deal because I do it often and I think that to me it's totally normal but I was like there was another Asian girl there but she was with a friend and then there were there was another Asian girl but she was like with a group of friends and she looked like maybe like like I want to say like mid-30s maybe so yeah there were Asian people in there but like there was no one else of color like it was just really like weird to see that like whereas LA we have so much diversity and there's so much, so many like different people. Like if you go to, uh, say, Olivera in West Hollywood, you'll see like everyone of like every ethnicity. Like, and it's just so weird that that's not here. Like, or at least I didn't see it there. So that was that. So it was just kind of weird, like the conversations and just the people. I feel like even when I go to Medeo, you'll see people of color. You'll see different, uh, just everybody, everybody. And I think. That's why I love LA so much is that you'll see younger people, you'll see older people. There's so many people who have who have it together. And I don't know, I guess like that's not a dinner spot for like the everyday person, like, or maybe it's just like not where they choose. They probably choose to like go eat somewhere else, like maybe Tao or Catch or like Beauty Nest Sex or something. Um, but I don't know, it's just such like a fever dream here. Like I feel like I don't see younger people like at the places that i'm eating at and i just wonder why like i wonder why i don't know and i feel like the places are like pretty good well actually korean barbecue like sure yeah of course we saw younger people that's like k-town that's like kind of normal i don't know something about new york is just like very weird to me like i don't know how to describe it um like everyone is just working no one has time to hang out uh this i'm not talking about the person that i was like supposed to go and do it okay fuck that but just like generally, like I've had a lot of guys like try to set up dates with me and stuff and they're like, okay, I'll be done at 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? You want dinner at 9 p.m.? Like who eats dinner at that time? Like that's so weird to me. That's that. I would be more than happy to always come back and visit and work here half the time and visit my friends and I love my friends so much. And I think like just being realistic about it, for as long as I've been dating and for as long as I've been here, I don't feel like I can confidently date, especially, especially okay, I talked about this on my Instagram that I said I felt like finance bros were treating me like a six out of 10 because like they would like cancel or they like wouldn't talk to me or like they're super tall and I don't know, maybe they wanted someone with like another trust fund baby to like be with, like, I don't know. I don't know, it was just weird, but yeah, I literally feel ugly when I'm here. Like, I would like to clarify that when I said that I feel ugly in New York, it's not because the girls are extremely pretty or the most gorgeous human beings on planet Earth. Like, it's not that, it's just based off of how guys treat you and how, like, they have so many options here because I know a lot of girls will from New York will go to LA and say oh my god I feel so insecure everyone there is so beautiful like that's not how I feel about New York it's just based solely on the way that the guys treat you and not because of the girls being overly gorgeous or anything because I feel like people in LA like are a little bit more attractive in a sense and that's not me like shading New York or like being mean because of course there are beautiful people there as well like a lot of models live there because of the opportunities but I think just in general Okay, don't be mad at me, but generally, generally, the general consensus. Thank you. I think the guys just have so much to choose from here and there's so much, there's so many women in New York. So I feel like me coming in is not making like a dent in it at all. And I know that, but I think it makes sense. Like obviously it affects your ego, right? If you're so used to people like just jumping up at you, like being super excited to like meet you and like want to hang out with you. Like I think like here, like I said, guys just have a lot more options. And for girls, I definitely think it's, I mean, honestly, like if I wanted someone, if I wanted to go on a date tonight and have someone pay for my dinner, I could have easily had that. Like that's not an issue at all. But I think that 
I didn't want to sit there and entertain someone and talk to them about my life and talk to them about my childhood or try to get to know them if I didn't genuinely care about them. And I think that people always misconstrue like whenever I go out to dinners like people think oh Jenny's just going just because she wants a free dinner or because I mean I've made jokes about it obviously because it's funny it's funny okay it's funny but it's not reality like I'm not like actually like oh my god let me go on a date because I'm gonna get a free dinner like no I have to genuinely genuinely have interest in this person and want to get to know them and want to like spend time with them and talk to them like it's I don't do this for fun like I'm genuinely how many times have I said I'm trying to find my life partner and I've completely stopped with the with the expectation of oh yeah let me have a guy take care of me blah 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 whatever like I came to the conclusion that that's not gonna happen and I have to continue being like the independent girl that I am but also not be too independent to where it's kind of like pretend you kind of have to act like damsel in distress guys love that so yeah anyway I might have a dinner tomorrow I don't know I well actually I think I do so it's totally fine like i'm just gonna give it a shot like i think sometimes i don't i i feel like i don't like someone but then once i get to know them then like yeah i do like their personality and stuff so yeah i got like an outfit and everything and i'm i just feel so stupid like is this the first time this has happened to me i don't think i've genuinely like canceled canceled on someone or been like oh hey like i can't go like and not given an explanation like i think i've always had a valid explanation to be honest like my head hurt my head hurts a lot when i'm in la actually i think mean, because of the sun god i miss being home so much I'm kind of a little bummed that I stretched out my stay a little bit, but I don't know, I'm just like, just trying to like feel it out and see what happens because I don't know, I think like life is short and if you don't take chances, then you never really know what's going to happen and I'm young and I feel like this is like going to be one of the last years of my 20s and it's, it's freaking insane. I do want to, I like, I hope to be married by the time I'm like 31 or 32, so Dating is definitely something that like I have to get into. I have to be open-minded and willing to get to know people and willing to take the time because obviously it's gonna take some time, but I think that I just have to be nicer to myself and be more open-minded and kind and know that like this isn't gonna happen overnight. This is something that takes time and just give it a shot. But the thing is, I don't wanna waste people's time. Like if I consider someone like Oh my god what happened to my shoe here if i look at someone and i say like okay they're not my type actually i've i've liked people who, hawaii bait actually is not my type like sure he's tall or whatever but i've never really been into like colored eyed brunettes like him like with dark dark hair it just is not my type like i prefer like dirty blondes with like green eyes and that's my type um that's my virgo that's my virgo um also virgo he is he's going through some things right now and um I'm not in a position to like say anything or like do anything. All I can do is like be there for him, but it like breaks my heart that he's like really, really sad. So yeah, but I hope that you guys just like wish him the best. And um, I care for him so, so much, even as just a friend. Um, I just feel really sad that he's going. Um, I'm also gonna take the train to Penn Station. Well, I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm gonna go to Penn Station and take the train to Philly on Sunday night. Stay in Philly one night and then Monday I will be headed back to LA and I'm super excited because I really miss it. I gotta like tend to Luna, um, air out my apartment a bit, probably do a dinner or something, but I have like quite a bit to do and I feel like I feel like I like have to do laundry. I'm gonna be like super super tired like when I get back. Yeah, I'm really excited though because it's been quite a long time. I think anybody would be grateful for this opportunity to like be able to travel to New York on your work's dime and do that and Although I am really grateful, I feel like, you know, I've showed you guys, like, I feel like people are going to make assumptions because there are certain things that, like, I didn't show or, like, some dinners that I probably will forget to show. But I don't, like, I am super, super transparent with you guys. Like, if I came here for, like, leisure or whatever, like, I would be shopping, like, every single day. Like, sure, I hung out with Tavia for a few days, but I hadn't seen her in a while. And like I said, like, I don't really like talking about my work and stuff because that's, like, private. And I feel like people have lost their jobs from, like, other people like snitching on them on the internet and all that so i don't i don't want to experience that i don't want to know what it feels like super excited for the giveaway that i'm gonna have for you guys because it is something that um you guys know i love obviously it's like a card holder so you guys gonna be matchy matchy with me so that'll be super exciting um and we'll do a skincare routine i know you guys are looking at my skin like jenny what are you doing 
but seriously no filters super glowy and gorgeous these are my lashes right now they're like kind of crazy so yeah i hope that you guys have been well um i'm pretty much just gonna shower hop in bed and probably edit a bunch because i want to catch up i got to do a voiceover for like the last part of my hawaii my hawaii video and then i'm gonna order some of these shirts i think because i really like them from merch and rack because look this one got like snagged I don't know if you can see that. And then like also here too. It's like a little piece right there. I need I need the LA sign. I need the LA sign. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening to my little rant. I hope you guys liked my vlog today. Obviously, I just went to Cipriani for dinner. It was a very weird experience. I probably won't go there again, to be honest. Um, maybe just for lunch in Soho. Like that was a pretty good location to like have lunch and just chat with your girls and stuff. But I do not think that I will go to that location again. It was just so... It was just weird to me. I don't know. I'm gonna... Let me not say anything. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.